if you're like me and your OEM radio is only equipped with wired Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, then this video is for you. This is a Volkswagen Atlas. It is equipped with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. It can only work with the wire, so I have to connect the wire before this can work. And so if this is your situation, there is this device from Harry Larry that you can plug in to your radio and you can get wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. For full disclosure, this was sent to me by Harry Larry. Harry Larry Wireless CarPlay and Android Auto. The instructions are here. You plug this into the car's USB, uh, turn on the phone, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, click pay and choose use CarPlay and then connection done. It is the model C6. They have different models, but this is C6. It supports YouTube, Netflix, technically video streaming in your car and it also takes um, micro SD. So when you open it, instructions right here. The device itself, there it is. It's very small, very, very tiny. Let's remove it from the rubber. Let's see. Okay, they've made it in the shape of a car. It uses USB type C and that's all. The good thing is you don't need to um, power it with an additional adapter that's really nice like you can sit in your car like just even as a decoration and beneath it you have the vent um, I think that's for cooling and, and stuff like that we have two cables type C to type C that is if your car is only equipped with USB type C you have a cable for you and then type C to type A, which is what I'm going to use. My USB port is type A, so I'll use that. Connect that. That's the only connection you need. And then you plug that into your USB. Now you see it says new device detected. So connect here. So that's the device's interface without connecting anything to it. It gives you the CarPlay interface. You have YouTube, Play Store. You can download all the apps that you want. So let's go to the settings. What do we have? This is actually nice. It means you can literally use the device by itself um, and you can still have your maps and stuff. Wi-Fi, so you can connect it to your Wi-Fi so maybe you can um, create a hotspot on your phone and then connect it to it. Some light is blinking down there. I think green that shows that it's connected. I'm not sure you can see that, but about the AI box. Now it uses the Qualcomm QCM2290 with 2 gigs of RAM and then 16 gig ROM for the internal memory and it, the Android version 11. This is pretty good. Beautiful interface. Let's see what this is about. Okay, so the home brings you to the car's interface. You tap on that again. YouTube, Netflix, Hulu, Prime Video. The next thing is for me to connect it to my phone. The instruction says if you want to use Android Auto, you have to open Speed Play. So open Speed Play here. And then it says please connect Bluetooth AI box. I'll do that. Let's go back to the phone and connect to it. We're now in settings. We'll go to connections. Bluetooth AI box shows up right here. So let's connect, pair, allow. So as you can see, it's connected without any problems. Like you can see everything is working nicely there. I'll put a link to it in the description. On Amazon, you can get it for less than $100. I don't have to be connecting multiple cables and, and stuff like that. So in my case, it's connected and it's tucked away down there. And that's just about it. So I don't have to worry myself about plugging any wires. Now let me turn off the system and then get back into the car and see if it connects by itself. I shut down the system, I'm back in the car, trying to see what is going to happen, if it will connect by itself. So let's turn this on and see. What is going to happen? 
connecting with CarPlay. Let's see. So we're back to this interface. I guess I have to open the speed play again. So like you can see, all I needed to do was to tap on the speed play and it connected. There's no need to connect any cables. You just get into the car. And I mean, that's the whole purpose of wireless car play and Android Auto. Let me know what you think in the comments below. The link is in the description. It's less than a hundred bucks and you can have Android Auto and Apple CarPlay on your factory radio. Because I just didn't want to recommend anything, I had to play with it for some time before I decided to make and post this video. I know what I'm recommending to you and so yeah, I, I think that it's a fantastic device and you would love it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. A subscription to the channel would be much appreciated. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.